that last video wasn't working, so take two. We're gonna try this again. So I wanted to show you how you can use essential oils for injuries when you have a cast. So my little cast model here, Lila, she had a little accident last week and unfortunately we made her suffer for a couple of days because we didn't know that it was actually an issue that needed to um, be casted. We thought she just hurt herself and was just being a dramatic four-year-old. So she got a cast on Friday and um, I was using essential oils prior to the casting to try my best to help with her discomfort and help with whatever healing she might actually need to have. So having the diagnosis was helpful. So kiddo, can you sit up for a second so I can show them how we're gonna do this? So when we have a cast, it's hard to use essential oils because you can't get them to the injury and her injury is on the top of her foot. So, you know, logically we would think, let's put the oils on the foot right here, but here's the thing. Some essential oils break down certain materials and I don't know what this material is, essential oil there, because I don't know if that essential oil is gonna break down that material. So what we're gonna do is there are two spots on our body, well there's a few, but there's several spots on our body that are actually really effective in using essential oils to get them to a different location. And the way that works is when we have an injury, our body's natural process is to work to heal it. And so it's gonna send the troops in um, to help work on that injury and help it to heal. So our body naturally does that. I mean, there's people that break bones and have all kinds of things that happen to them and their body sometimes naturally heals it and they may not even know they had the issue. So well, I'm not gonna get into the oils that I use for injuries, but I will say one is definitely gonna be frankincense because frankincense is the king of all oils. It is fantastic at helping with this type of thing. So what I'm gonna do is actually put the frankincense underneath her knee, right back here. So the back of the knee is a really great place to put essential oils when we have something going on down here. So bottom of the foot or top of the foot is where it is. Back of the knee is where I'm gonna put the essential oils. Um, so I would just, I might have her lay on her tummy so I can just drop the oil on or I'm just gonna rub it in like that. So she's actually been getting a cut on the back of her leg because her cast has been cutting her leg. So we've actually been helping with that as well. So that's what we would do for a foot. Here, you can flip back over, kiddo. So that's what we would do for a foot if the cast is a short walking cast. Now, what about the wrist or the fingers? Then we would put the oil right here, okay? And you can do this, since essential oils move in and out of tissue really well, they are used up really quickly. So we're gonna wanna actually use that essential oil um, often throughout the day. And maybe even as often as you might um, have thought about it. So that's what I would do. And um, anytime that you have a cast or let's say you've had a surgery and you've got stitches, you can't put that oil um, on the stitch area, you can use those essential oils nearby. So that's what I do for casted injuries. I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to ask questions. This video will be up for you to watch. Thank you.